Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Life Plus. It's yours truly here, and I am so thankful to be here. I know it's been like two weeks since I uploaded, but I have some big plans coming. So big that I don't even want to tell you, but I'm going to give you a little insight. So what was it like back in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s? We're going to touch on every one of those subjects with my grandmother. That's right, my grandmother. She was born in the 1930s. She's going to tell us all about her childhood, what it was like the day that war was declared, and why it was a very special day for her and Scary at the same time, but what it was like to live through those wars, what it was like to live in society using telephones, what TV was like, radio, how were food stamps managed, how were grocery stores, everything. We're going to develop it all in to multiple episodes and they're probably going to post once a week maybe twice a week we'll see but if you're ready to see this it's going to be so awesome and it's going to be so informational and i really think that it's going to help our generation to hear it from somebody elderly somebody older who has been through it well it's all here at life plus stay tuned like and subscribe and hit that bell button so you know as soon as these episodes hit this screen today i have not slept at all I, this whole hotel has got my mind going crazy. Erin's dancing. dancing. She's on my hands. We'll cut that out. This is what I'm talking about. Well, at least we have the good crew, you know, to make up for all this craziness, right? Is that how we get through it? All right, woo! And gentlemen, I post funny things on here because I like to lighten the mood and make us all feel better because that's what it's all about. I mean, we have to live one day at a time and we really got to enjoy the days that we have. You know, instead, we don't have time to be hating one another. We don't have time to be attacking one another. But that's the exact thing that's happening on a daily basis. For instance, I was at the grocery store today in Clark Summit, Garrity's to be exact, and a very tall, tough guy comes walking in literally pushes old ladies to the side and then literally comes up to me cursing under his breath saying get the f out of the way what are you just gonna stand there to which i responded and said i'm sorry i was in your way i didn't hear him say that at, at the moment and he got in my face ready to punch me like twice over it who like what is the matter with you people? i mean at what point did we get to this place where we are just hating one another and I find myself, look at I am no different than any of you. We are human, but it's what we do with that anger after the fact. If you don't feel conviction after you do something wrong, then you need to check yourself. There's something wrong. This channel is not going to sugarcoat things, okay? I don't know why everybody censors their speech. We have a problem. I mean, having a guy come into a grocery store on a Sunday when everyone's shopping, pushes little old ladies out of the way, curses under his breath, and is ready to throw his entire life away over that? There's something wrong. We have a serious problem. I get it. A lot of things happen in this life, and a lot of frustrating stuff happens. Look at me. Six times cancer. Six times. If anybody should be frustrated, I should be too. But I think about others. I don't want others to be hurt by things that I do or don't do. So a sin of omission would be a sin of omission for me not to talk about this. So that's why we're talking about it. My goal is to not get you mad or get you infuriated, but to bring forth awareness and to show that love is the key. If you are angry and frustrated at someone, I'm going to give you a task. Think about one positive quality about that person, whether it's their hairstyle, whether it's their voice, something. Think of one good thing besides the hundred things that make you hate them. And I guarantee your anger will be gone. And then give it to God. Say, Lord, take it. Even if you don't believe, just say, God, please. Don't commit murder in your heart. Don't hate. Be patient. Be kind. You'll still get to the aisle. You'll still get that can of soup that you were running in the store for. And I get it. Maybe you have something going on in your life too, sir. You know who you are. And I forgive you for the way that you acted. But at the end of the day... We have to be better. You know, same thing if you're rushing through red lights. What about the family that's about to cross the intersection and you rush through that red light and something happens? You'll regret it for every moment of your life when you're sitting in prison for life. Ooh, it's such a nice day. Oh my gosh, I love these days. The fall, like when it starts to ease into that fall like temperature, it's like my favorite. Woo! I want to build a deck out of those. I never noticed what, out of what? Those pallets right there. We could burn them. No. Oh, you have a hot tub? Yeah, I have a horrible. Yeah, I saw those on QVC. 
I didn't know there was a power transformer back here. But for what? I think it's for the hotel. And there's a dish. Look at we only have one now. We used to have like multiple. Wow. Wow, this is a fun video today, everyone. Not talking about anything. But remember, people. What was I going to say? I was on a rant. Um, people have no soul anymore. No emotion. They don't like have a care about one another. Like they don't care if you die. Like people are so self-centered and so evil anymore that they walk around and kill people in their hearts. Like Jesus said, if you are angry at your brother or feel some type of way, you already killed them in your own heart, which is just as bad as doing it in the real life in front of God. Come on, people. We need to get a heart back. Love is the key. Love is what wins all wars. Love is power and love is kind. So love one another as yourself and love God with all your heart. There was an autumn olive bush in the back of this hotel and it grows berries in the fall that you can make fruit leather out of, you can eat them. And the reason why they call it an autumn olive is why, Bill? I think I broke the door. Come along, everyone. Oh, it smells right there. Hey, um, Aaron. <laughs> she said, why? Hello. <laughs> I'm the laundry girl today. <laughs> She's the laundry girl, everyone. <laughs> Kyle. Oh, we're crazy this morning, aren't we? What do you think? Oh look, there's random guests that can't get them in the video, everyone. Love is the key. Love wins all wars. So tune in here at Life Plus for much more content to come. Remember, we got that content with my grandma there. We're gonna be interviewing her and that's gonna help us overcome a lot of frustration too because how did she overcome so much since 1933? Well, you're gonna find out all right here at Life Plus. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hit that like button, subscribe so you know every time the content hits this channel. See you later.